Yarrow, stinging nettles, and goose grass. Don't know what you call goose grass, but that's the stuff I'm talking about. I mean, we're gonna good chance to go around, get rid of all your nettles. Anyway, I'll probably end up just trimming them or cutting them before the seed, so why not use it to create some good fertilizer? Just try to get the tops and no root because you can put the mulch once it's broken down directly onto the beds as well. This will start breaking down as soon as you pack it all in, fill it full of water and you'll be able to take out some liquid in the first week, it'll be like a weak tea colour and it, three weeks plus is best but you can start using it straight away really. Nettles, yeah. What's this as well? Yarrow. Yarrow, yeah. I'm gonna cut it all. Yeah. So it is useful to have these wilder areas and mines well everywhere but mainly beside the pigs and in the pigs. Because the more you cut the nettles and things, the less they grow, so then you're taking away this source of nutrients that's available. So sometimes it is best not just for the fertilizer but for wildlife as well.
but it absolutely stinks, I'm not going to lie. We've got ours around the back of the barn, but if you're making it, you might want to put it at the bottom of your allotment. This one's probably been in here for a few months as well, so... Quite potent. This is the one we started off about two weeks ago. I'll just get a jug. You can see it's already nice and mashed tea. So you just want to literally fill it up with water. I don't know about you, but we're in mid-April now and water's getting a pretty valuable commodity, especially with animals. So we top that up to about there, cover it. Got another one ready to go. And that's it, really. So the banana skins have been in drying on this metal sheet about two days, three days. And they're crispy. Pretty much how you want them. Some of these heads. We'll probably need a few. Well, we can probably chuck those into the composter to be honest, but the rest of them looking good to go, really, I think. So we can crush these up on a big board, chop them up, and then they'll make a fertiliser directly digging into the soil or sprinkle over the top, slow releasing feed. Be pretty nice. I think a uh, worthwhile experiment, especially while we've got these hot days. These bananas are getting there now. You want them to be crisp and snap. We'll probably get these on a chopping board. Chop them up into little pieces. And they can be scattered directly into the soil or over the top. Probably dried out in about two, three days in this temperature, I think it's like 17, 18 degrees outside, so I haven't got a temperature reader in here, but pretty toasty. These heads are going to need a little bit longer. But Other than that, no mould, so that's good. 